So the background really is uh, looking at uh, patients with limited stage um, small cell lung cancer. And then we know that patients with this disease, uh, even when they're treated with radical treatment, uh, concurrent chemo radiotherapy, there's still poor prognosis and a lot of them relapse. Um, so we were interested really in uh, patterns of relapse, where they're relapsing, whether it's um, relapses within the high dose radi radiotherapy region or whether it's distant metastases. Um, the postulation is that, that if they're relapsing within the high dose radiotherapy field, um, that may suggest an element of radio resistance um, requiring more intensification of treatment. So this is uh, part of the CONVERT trial, um, which is a trial that, that looked at patients con with concurrent treatment, uh, randomized either to uh, standard treatment 66 gray and 33 fractions to the experimental arm of 45 uh, gray uh, twice daily with uh, 30 fractions. Um, so we looked at all the patients who were recruited in our center at the Christie Hospital. Um, we looked at, we reviewed all follow-up scans um, and uh, assessed for any, any recurrences or relapses. Um, and those patients who relapsed, we um, split them into three categories, if, whether it was thoracic, um, whether they had distant metastases or relapses in both areas. Um, then with, with um, registration software, we fused the, um, the original planning radiotherapy scan with the follow-up scan, so basically superimposing the lesion that had relapsed uh, into the original field. And with registration software, we were able to, to figure out the dose that that, um, that relapse lesion had received uh, and therefore able to say whether it had, had, had received a high dose or a lower dose. We had 90 patients uh, treated through our center as part of the trial. We looked at all the scans and found that 49 had, uh, had relapsed uh, during the time period. Um, we split them into those three categories, so um, thoracic, uh, distant metastases, and, and then um, combination of both, uh, and found that um, 49 had, had relapsed. Um, amongst those, uh, 20 had relapsed within just within the chest, um, 19 outside, and then 10 combination of both. Um, so, that, so we looked at all the thoracic relapses, so 30 patients, fortunately five weren't available for, for analysis. So out of those 25, uh, the majority, 16 out of 25, had actually relapsed within the high dose, so more than 95% isodose region. And amongst those, 11 had actually received uh, twice daily. Um, so we matched it for, uh, depending on what dose they had, they had received. Um, so it looks like um, three quarters, approximately three quarters, uh, had thoracic relapses, and majority of them were actually in the high dose, dose region. Um, suggesting that there's local treatment failure. Yeah, so firstly, we, well, we have the, the remaining five patients to, to fuse anyway, but I, we don't expect it to, to change the, uh, the general outcomes anyway. Um, and then amongst those, those patients, the 30 patients, we're interested to see really um, whether there's a difference in the, the twice daily in the the um, once daily regime, um, but just a crude look, it did look like there were there, um, there were still a lot of patients with the twice daily, um, with the forty five gray and thirty who were still relapsing within their high dose um, area. Um, also interested to look at whether whether these relapses, although we contoured each lesion, um, be good. Uh, we're interested to see if there's an as an overview of whether these are nodal relapses or um, or is it, if it's a primary lesion that's that's relapsing. So bear in mind they're, they're not large numbers, so I don't, um, but I think this still uh, shows that, that, that there's really a need to, to improve our thoracic radiotherapy um, because even, even though it's considered a very radiosensitive disease of, of small cell lung cancer, um, they're still relapsing, majority of them are still relapsing in their, their high dose region. Um, so there's... Uh, two solutions either to intensify the radiotherapy. There has been some, some work by uh, Gromberg and his team uh, looking at uh, the 45 in, in 30, uh, the, the standard, standard treatment now, compared to 60 in, in 40, tw uh, 40 fractions twice daily. Uh, so a, a dose intensification, um, and um, that looks like an area of future, future research. Um, another way is 
is also improving the systemic treatment. So at the moment, cisplatin um, and topicide is a standard chemotherapy, but then uh, I understand there's lots of research looking at adjuvant immunotherapy as well to in intensify and improve the systemic treatment as well.